Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Ranisha, and I'm back with this blue glitter cut crease. If you would like to know how I got this look, then keep on watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you in advance. First, we're going to start off with this Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm just going to use my finger because my fingernail broke. And I'm going to dig into that paint pot and I'm just going to spread and pat that on my eye making sure that it is nice and flat. Then I'm going to go into this Morphe 39A palette I think it is. Let me check. Give me a second. Yes, it is the 39A palette, the Dare to Create palette. And I'm going to take the shade Indigo. It is that dark blue shade and the shade Muse. It was the black one. And I'm going to use those, mix those two together and I'm going to pat those onto my eyelid. Then I'm going to go into this palette that I have all my loose eyeshadows in and I'm going to take the shades. Piece of Cake is a ColourPop single shadow and I'm going to take the shade Neptune. It is a Makeup Geek shadow and I'm going to blend out the harsh line that I made with the Indigo and the Muse shade. Once everything was blended out to my satisfaction or a little bit to my satisfaction, I'm going to go back into the Neptune shade. I'm sorry, the Indigo shade from the 39A palette. I'm going to pack that onto my crease more and then uh, and then go back into the piece of cake shade and blend that out. And then I'm going to take a clean blending brush. This is a Wet n Wild brush that I was using. I'm going to make sure that I blend out the edges. Then I'm going to go in with my MAC Longwear Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15 and I'm going to use this on a flat BH Cosmetics brush and I'm going to use this to cut my crease out. Now what I'm doing is right here is I'm patting the shape and then once I have my shape laid down I am going to further uh, blend out or add more concealer onto my lid and then I'm going to go in with a smaller flat brush and just try to get my edges a little more sharper. Going into 39A palette, I'm going to take the shades Taylor, Image, and Dare Me, and I'm going to put those on my lid. Now, in the order that I showed you is the order that I was supposed to apply them, but that didn't happen. I ended up adding Taylor, Dare Me, and then Image, which is all wrong, but whatever. We're going to still make it happen and make sure that it, this eye looks Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take the NYX silver glitter liner and I'm going to apply that to my eyes to my eyelid and then I'm going to take a Candio Love chunky glitter in the it's called Summer Eclipse and I'm just going to use that applicator to apply this glitter because it's more of a chunkier glitter and I'm going to use that NYX glitter as um, an adhesive. Going into complexion I'm going to use this Inglot liquid um, bronzer and I'm just going to pat this all over my face because I wanted my foundation to have more of like an inner glow type of feel to it so I'm going to add that to my face. So I'm all bronzed and primed. Now let's bring you in a little closer so that we can blend this foundation out. The foundation that I'm using today is the NARS All Day Luminous Foundation. And I'm blending it out with the Real Technique Insta Pop Face Brush. I usually don't use brushes to blend my foundations out, but this brush is the truth. 
I, I really like it. Then I'm just going to go over it and make sure that everything is nice and even with the Real Techniques sponge. It's time to highlight and I'm going to take my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in NC42 and I'm going to place this under the eyes, the bridge of the nose, the forehead, the lip, and then I'm going to blend it out with my Real Technique sponge. This concealer is like one of my like all time favorite concealers because my right eye has more creases than the left eye does and this concealer <laughs> ain't taking no shit. It's going to hold those lines up and it's going to have my under eyes looking nice and airbrushed and flawless. So my battery died, so I have to finish the rest of my face off camera. So now we're going to jump back into the eyes. I am just placing some Max Off Ochre Paint Pot under my eye so that that blue, that blue in that um, 39A palette will pop a little more. Because I realized that once I do my face and set it and everything, the eyeshadows don't really be as vibrant as I want them to be. So I'm going to add this eyeshadow primer back into my under my eyes and I'm going to take the shade indigo, place that over top that paint pot and then I'm going to blend it out with the shade vivid out of the 39A palette. Then I'm going to brush all that powder away to catch that fall and then I'm going to take that foundation brush and just pat that powder back in. Then I'm going to place feline eye coal in my waterline. And I'm going to apply my lashes. These are Wispy Eyelashes from Ardell. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I know it's like fall and winter time. But I love playing in colors and I hope you guys enjoy this look. If you do, don't forget to give me a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your support. Until next time, you guys, take care.